In this short video, I want to show you how to record your own impulse response using two nodes Blend IR software. First, we have to download the software from two nodes site. You download Mac or Windows version, and once installed, in my case, it's a Mac version, so double click on DMG file and you launch the installer. Now we double click on the installer, follow the regular path, check the disk where you want to install it, double check on customize, put in your password and you install the software. Once installed, you have to check the wiring of your audio interface. I'm using one output and two inputs. Line 8 as an output and mic inputs 1 and 2 as an input. The output goes through my reamp box to my guitar amplifier, which I have dialed all dials to 12 o'clock for this demonstration purposes. The output from the amplifier is connected to the live room where I have already mic'd up the cabinet. I have front and back setup because I will be recording two impulse responses. Back in the control room I've launched Blend IR and I'll start preparing the software for the recording. I choose my audio interface as an input and output, check the test signal and I should hear it from my main speakers. Here I check output channels, one and two as monitors and 8 is my line into my guitar amplifier. Active input channels are channels 1 and 2, where I'm using my two microphone inputs. I set my sample rate and audio buffer size. Next window shows the audio path from the computer via amplifier to the cabinet and back using microphone to the computer. I have to select main out, which is my monitors, capture in, which is the microphone input, which I'll be recording the cabinet, and capture out, which is line eight in my case, which is used to send signal from the computer to the guitar amplifier. Once the setup is correctly selected on this window, you are ready to record your impulse response. Click on the capture button in the first segment of this virtual rack and you should hear test signal from the speakers and from the cabinet itself. Name the output file and the recording has started. The frequency sweep takes about 40 seconds. Once done, software will process the file and save it. In the bottom part of the virtual rack, you see time, frequency and phase chart of the impulse response you just recorded. When you open wall of sound plugin in your favorite door, you will be able to use IR just recorded to model your own cabinet. Easy, right? 